He didn't count because he was not the child of the promise. Otherwise, God, notice, I'm, I'm going to say it again in case you missed it the first time. Otherwise, God would have not called Isaac God's only son, Abraham's That's only son. son. That's right. God called him Abraham. I, I, Abraham didn't call him his only son. I didn't call him his only son. God, God called him his right. only son. Why? Because he was the son of the promise. Go ahead and read some more. Verse 9. Go ahead and read. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And we know who that son was. That son was Isaac. Now, let's go and make it clear who it is of Abraham's seed that the promises was made to. Let's go to Psalms chapter 105, and we'll begin reading at verse 6. Psalm 105, and we'll pick it up at verse 6. 105 and 6. 105 and 6. Because he told Abraham, you know, Abraham, you and your seed, even... Uh, through all generations, even for an everlasting covenant. Let's go to Psalm 105, and we'll begin reading at verse 6. 105 and 6. Okay, go ahead and read. O ye seed of Abraham his servant, uh -huh. ye children of Jacob his chosen. Go ahead and read. He is the Lord our God. Uh -huh. His judgments are in all the earth. Go ahead and read. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. See what I say? He has remembered this covenant forever. Even the word that he commanded, even until a thousand generations. When God make a covenant, it is etched in stone. Right. Abraham didn't break the covenant, therefore the covenant is etched in stone. Because God ain't going to break it. That's, right. That's why he said, even forever, even until a thousand generations, he said. Go ahead and read up. Verse 9. Uh huh. Which covenant he made with Abraham. Now, which covenant that he made with Abraham, go ahead and read. And his oath unto Isaac. And he made it unto Isaac as well, go ahead and read on. And confirmed the same unto Jacob and, for a law. And confirmed the same with Jacob for a law, because Isaac begot two sons. And those two was Jacob and Esau, and guess what? Isaac wanted Esau to get the That's blessing. Right. Lord said, no, that ain't going to happen, That's buddy. Right. The thing is already etched in stone. Right. Go ahead and read on. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Now, and he said to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Now we know whose seed of Abraham that the promise was made to, that that land would belong to them even for an everlasting possession. You say, well, you said we Israel. Why we are in the land today? Well, I'm going to show you something. Let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, 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 Leviticus chapter 26, and we'll pick it up at verse 27. Leviticus chapter 26, and we'll begin reading at verse 27. 26 and 27. Okay, Leviticus chapter 26, and we'll begin reading at verse... Uh, Well, I tell you what. Here we go. I heard you, David. Uh, verse one. David told me to do that. No, he didn't. He didn't tell me to do that. I'm just saying. Uh, Twenty-six and one. Go ahead, read. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image. Uh -huh. Neither rear you up a standing image. Go ahead. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God. Now, you know, this is the Lord uh, God saying, you know, he, he's telling Israel, don't do any of these things. Go ahead and read on. Ye shall keep my Sabbath uh -huh. and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. See what he's saying? Ye shall even keep my Sabbath and reverence my sanctuary, for I am the Lord. You know, and, and people don't really pay no attention to the Sabbath day. You know, I'll keep it if I feel like first. Most of them got it wrong anyway. Right. And most of them tell you, you don't even need to keep no Sabbath day anyway. But now, the Lord says over and over again that you shall keep his Sabbaths and reverence his sanctuaries because there are some things you are supposed to do on this Sabbath right. day and there are some things that you are not supposed to do. That's what he means by keeping his Sabbaths. Go ahead and read on. 
Verse 3. Uh -huh. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them. Now he said, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and you do them. Go ahead, read. Then I will give you rain in due season. And you do need rain in due season. Because if you don't get rain in due season, you don't eat. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? So now all of these things the Lord said, I will give you. If you keep my commandments. Go ahead, read on. And the land shall yield her increase. Uh -huh. And the trees of the field shall yield their, yield their fruit. Go ahead, read. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage. Uh -huh. And the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. Go ahead. And ye shall eat your bread to the full and dwell and dwell in your land safely. Now, he said, you know, if you do all these things, you know, then you're going to eat your uh, bread to the full and you shall... Uh, uh, dwell in your land, even in safety, it says you shall dwell in your land. Now, skip down to, uh, uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse 14. Go ahead and read. But if ye will not hearken unto me uh -huh. and will not do all these commandments. Now, he said, if you don't listen to me and do these commandments, go ahead and read on. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment, uh -huh. so that ye will not do all my commandments, go ahead. but that ye break my covenant, uh -huh. I also will do this unto you. Go ahead. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague. Well, you, that, you, you mean the Lord said he going to appoint this over yes, you sir. if you don't obey his command? You know, all these things come up on you. In other words, God said, I have appointed these things over you. You know, Israel always look for somebody to blame. You better take this up with the Lord. You understand right. what I'm saying? Because the Lord said, I'm the one that's going to do all of this stuff to you if you don't obey my commandments. Go ahead, read on. Uh, middle of 16. Uh -huh. That shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. Uh -huh. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. Go ahead, read. And I will set my face against you, uh -huh. and ye shall be slain before your enemies. Go ahead. They that hate you shall reign over you, uh -huh. and ye shall flee when none pursueth Go ahead, read. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. They say, if you don't hearken unto me, then I'm going to punish you seven times more for you. In other words, every time you mess up, I'm going to hit you across the head. Now, let's go to, uh, let's get down to uh, 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 verse 27 now. Go ahead, read on. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, mm -hmm. but walk contrary unto me, Go ahead, me, then I will walk contrary unto you also now, in fury. Now, that is fair, isn't it? Yes, sir. You're going to walk contrary unto me, then it's only fair that I walk contrary right. unto you. Why should I walk with you when you walk in contrary unto me? You, you chose to walk contrary unto me, therefore I'm going to walk contrary unto you. That's fair. Ain't that yeah, fair? That's fair? I don't see nothing wrong. Ain't nothing unfair about that God. Nothing One thing all. about the Lord, he is fair. That's right. Go ahead and read on. And I, even I, uh, will chastise you seven times for your sins. He said, I, even I will chastise you seven times for your sins. Go ahead and read on. And you shall eat the flesh of your son, uh -huh. and the flesh of your daughter shall ye eat. Now, I can take you in the Bible and show you where Israel did yes, that sir. after they had walked contrary run to the Lord. And this actually means what it says That's here. Right. I heard a brother once, he spoke to me an Israelite teacher. He said, that don't mean what it said. Yeah, it do. I can show you in the Bible that That's it means right. what it said. Go ahead and read on. Verse 30. Go ahead and read. And I will destroy your high places. Now he said, I'm going to do, you know, you know what these high places are? All them places of worship that you have built throughout the land, that Israel have always built throughout the land, even until this very day. You want to know who Israel is? Go through all neighborhoods, and wherever you find a bunch of high places, you have found Israel. That's right. I've said it before, you can drive into a strange city, 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I wonder where the hood is. Just start riding around until you see high places everywhere, and you have found the hood. That's right. Because you have always done that. You understand what I'm saying? And you have done it to worship strange God. You say, oh, no, when, when, they ain't worshiping no strange God. Yes, they are. That's the true and living God said, just told you, observe his Sabbath, right? right? What do they say? The Sabbath ain't good no more. We're going to do it on the first day of the week. So what God are you worshiping? You are worshiping a strange That's God. Right. Go ahead and read on. 
and cut down your images uh -huh. and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. Go ahead, me. And I will make your cities waste uh -huh. and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. Now, the Lord meant that, too. He said, I'm going to make your cities waste, and I'm going to bring your sanctuaries into desolation. You know, when he took Israel into bondage down in Babylon, what did he do? Didn't he tear up the city, and then he even tear up the sanctuary That's that right. he had Solomon built? That's you right. understand what I'm saying? All of that beautiful temple that the Lord had Solomon to build, gold and silver everywhere. What did he say, Nebuchadnezzar, go down there and tear yes, it up, sir. lay it even with, with the, the ground. ground? Yes, sir. Then he said, I'm going to let them spend 70 years in Babylon. And guess what? After you went back, you did the same thing all over again. He said, this time I am going to send Titus, the Roman general down there. And Titus, I want you to go down there and do the same thing Nebuchadnezzar did. Tear up everything. He said, don't leave one stone standing That's up right. on another. Tear it all up. And what to do with it? Do the same thing that uh, Nebuchadnezzar did. Take Israel into bondage. God ain't playing. You understand what I'm saying? He called you. He told you how it's going to be, and that's how it's going to be. That's right. Get in line. Go ahead and read on. End of 31. Go ahead and read. And I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. Now, these are these, these, these offerings that you offer up to the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? And even today, your, your prayers is your offering up to the Lord. You ain't did nothing I said do. Then you going to come and pray before me? Lord, tell you about your prayers uh, uh, when, when you ain't doing what he That's said right. do. He even told Jeremiah. You know, Jeremiah, the righteous man that he was, and Israel was messing up, and Israel was messing up, and just refused to repent. Then he, they're going to ask Jeremiah to go pray for them. The Lord said, don't bother, Jeremiah. Don't even bother. I ain't hear none of that. That's right. Because I've given them opportunity after opportunity to repent, and they just refuse to do it. Go ahead and read on, brother. And I will bring the land into desolation. And, and he said, I'm going to bring the land, he said, into desolation. You know, that beautiful land that I gave you, a land even flowing with milk and honey, I'm going to bring it into desolations. Go ahead and read on. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. Go ahead. And I will scatter you among the heathen. Now he said, and I'm going to scatter, I, the Lord said, I'm going to, the Gentiles didn't scatter you among the heathen. Right. God said, I'm going to scatter you among the heathen. I'm going to just do it by the hand of the Gentiles. Yeah. And the Hamites too, by the way. That's right. He said, and I'm going to scatter you among the heathen. Go ahead and read on. And we'll draw the sword after you. Uh -huh. And your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Now he said, I'm going to draw out a sword after you. And your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. But guess what? Then he said, now I'm going to kick you out the land. He said that, didn't he? Yes, sir. But what about the promise that he made to Abraham and his seed? Skip down to uh, verse 40. Go ahead and read on. If they shall confess their iniquity. Now he said, Israel, you know, when you be in the land of your enemies, if you will confess your iniquities, go ahead and read on. And the iniquity of their fathers go ahead. with their trespass, which they trespass against me, uh -huh. and that also they have walked contrary unto me, uh -huh. and that I also have walked contrary unto them. In other words, just repent. That's all he's telling yes, you to do. Go ahead and read on. And have brought them into the land of their enemies, uh -huh. if then their un uncircumcised hearts be humbled. You see, now we got an uncircumcised heart he's talking about here. You know, people don't talk about, you know, uh, when, when they start talking about, you, you start telling them about circumcision. Well, it's the book talking about un uh, circumcision of the heart. You know, and they think that Paul was the first one that said anything about the heart circumcision. But he, no, he didn't. Moses was the first yes, one to write about the circumcision of the heart. See what he says here? And if their uncircumcised heart be humble, go ahead and read on. And they then accept of the punishment uh, of their iniquity. Go ahead and read. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob uh -huh. and also my covenant with Isaac. He said, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac. Go ahead and read on. And also my covenant with Abraham and will I, will I remember. And I will remember my covenant with Abraham as well. Go ahead and read on. And I will remember the land. And I will remember the land. <laughs> the covenant has to stone. That's you right. understand what I'm saying? Abraham didn't break it. God don't break covenants. So he said, now, whatever you do, if you're going to mess up, 
I know what you're going to do. Because when they, uh, when, when they, they, uh, uh, they, they told uh, uh, the Lord, said, oh, that you have spoken, we will do. You know what the Lord said? Oh, if you only had heart, he knew you were going to mm -hmm. mess up. But 